Hey guys. Hi. How you doing? Okay, yeah, a couple of minutes I'll be playing on Gabby Why do they put that you on? You know, um, I'll be at the RT tape. Why do they do that? The tape at the award ceremony was the fun. You didn't put the, the, you, do you remember to take off the lens cap off the camera? If not, I mean, I'm not an the, the, the die if it's wounded. Okay, so um, let's let's get cash when we came to the studio. So Billboard magazine gave me a big award for being the greatest radio personality, syndicated radio personality in the world, which or of 1994, Howard. Yeah. They didn't declare you of the world. You know? Well, I am. Believe me. <laughs> I mean, who's better than me on the radio? Honestly, no, I'm just saying what the award is for. Okay. <laughs> so Fafa Fui says to me that uh, what did you say? I said, you know, have to everybody Fafa, in that Fafa. room. As would have waited their entire life to win that award, would have killed to win it. They would have had a speech written thanking their parents. You, of course, don't show up and send Fred to accept it. But that's precisely why I win the award, because I, okay. I don't care about stupid stuff like that. I mean, on some level I do. I'm glad I won. I mean, I can't imagine, like, giving I'm a syndicated radio guy of the, of the year when this guy didn't even have the balls to syndicate himself until I didn't even have the knowledge to do it. He, didn't, he wouldn't have known to do it. Yeah, and didn't even, yeah, I mean, he was in radio all those years. He didn't syndicate anything. Yeah, he's been in radio five months. Since Marconi invented it, he's been in radio and never thought to syndicate. Yeah, well, he's a nitwit. But he invented everything else. Yeah, he invented radio. Stupid skeeve. Stole everything I ever did. Oh, no, I've been doing this for years. I've been... F yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, you were doing a lot of talking. When I came to New York, you were doing a lot of talking. You played about 100 records an hour. He wasn't even coming to work. What are you doing? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you didn't. You, you used to say, how's your Donkey Kong? Yeah. Are you naked? So you'll see it all in my movie. You used to do the first half hour from yeah. the car every morning. Yeah. Are you naked, baby? Okay, WNBC. Going to play another five in a row. How's your Donkey Kong? My Donkey Kong's fine, you old fart. <laughs> <laughs> The only, the only thing that he did that I did was get his ass to the station on time after I showed up. <laughs> yeah, then he started coming to yeah. work again. I hasn't missed a day since. Even then you couldn't get rid of me. stayed at the station all day. Yeah, watching me and studying everything I did. Dickhead. Sitting in on writing sessions. Yeah. Uh, how do you do that? How do you do that, Howard? <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, I fry his ass in my movie. Oh, good. Wait till you see who plays him. The guy who plays him is 175 years old. I just think it's handy was going to be all set to play Imus. <laughs> you know, you forget how bad sometimes were, and I was remembering the other day how he used to lay on the floor what? to critique you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, pig you know, virus. He just, he'd get out of his seat and get on the floor. He was so, Howard was so awful, he couldn't even sit through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and he's in Oklahoma now. Yeah. Working for his dad's radio station. That's the guy I had to deal with when I came to New York. But they'll all be skewered in my movie. Good. <coughs> anyway, Elephant Boy, you were good enough to, um, did you, oh, so you went to the Billboard Awards with yeah. Elephant Boy? Yeah. Now, yeah. where were they? In New York at the uh, New York Hilton. Oh. And so. Oh, boy. <laughs> at the New York Hilton, was everyone yeah. dressed up? Uh, yeah, I was dressed up. I was wearing a suit. And what was everyone else wearing, suit? Yeah. yeah no no tuxedos? I accept, you know, I, no, I, except for the people from Billboard, but most of the people... The people from Blueboard? <laughs> from Billboard. Billboard. All right, so what the, were they wearing? The people from Billboard were wearing yeah. what? Tuxedos. Tuxedos. Yeah, but most of the ga guests... All know. these, like, big, dumb radio yeah. guys all dressed up? Yeah. And, you know, with their big, deep voices? Yeah. All standing around in tuxedos and suits, all congratulating each what other? What a room. Were people applauding when I won... Oh yeah, it was it was it was the big moment of the evening. Uh, uh -huh. What is it, Fafa Fui? Should point out that um, <coughs> there were no acceptance speeches. That, oh, oh. Yeah. so Fred wrestled the microphone away from uh, Ed, Ed Lover Lover. of Dr. Dre and Ed Lover because they hosted the evening. Right. Yeah. But you'll, when you play the tape. They'll announce your award, and then there'll be applause, mm -hmm. and it's sort of over. Yeah. Then you hear Fred's voice. Uh, it took me time to walk to the stand. Hey, good for you, Fred. You got yeah. a set of uh, nuts on you. You got wrestling that I don't, look at the, I don't care if I met a fool out of myself, because that's the wish I'm here for. Well, you speak, you speak the truth. Unfortunately, yeah. no one understands. <laughs> no. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. This next award, too. This is wonderful. It's only on one channel. Us when we arrive. Can you hear that okay? Yeah, I was beginning to try to figure it out. Why do I can't I get sound on this show? And where's Scott the engineer today? He's not here and he doesn't tell anyone? I don't think Scott would not come in and not call, so I, I imagine something's wrong. 
If anyone knows where Scott, where Scott's hair is, please call <laughs> it. Where is it? Let me see. Where are we? Uh, maybe it's something wrong with the tape machine here. No. Gary, does it sound like this all the time? Mm, you know. <laughs> What's going on with this tape? It, Why is it only on one channel? Because that's all we could pull together. It came from... It came. Why don't you do a mono feed then? I didn't do this because I'm not the engineer. Who did it? Um, Ganji did it with Eli. Uh -oh. oh boy! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're lucky to have anything. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't win. I can't win at this station. Where is Scott, the engineer? Does anyone know? He called in sick late last night, but just didn't bother calling any of us. Oh, that's no. good. He did Eli, now you are deaf in one ear. Is that correct? Ah. You are deaf in one ear. Sounded so you're... like stereo to him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. See. <laughs> right. I think you're on. That's the phone. Okay. This is it. This one's the tape. Eli, you're making me nervous. All right, now we'll get it. Yeah. All right, thank you, bro. All right, Eli helping out, obviously. Right. Eli, can you put on more cologne? Thank you. <laughs> right. So I have yeah. nobody told me anybody was here. I didn't. Uh, well, Eli just came in quick. Oh, okay. You got to admit it's better than smoky breath. Yeah. <laughs> next award too. Yeah, this is wonderful. This was a highlight of the evening for us when we arrived, and they told us this is what we'd be. So you guys got to present the award for nationally syndicated air personality of the year. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the competition included Rush Limbaugh, Don Imus, Tom yeah. Joyner, among others, up, up and the winner, way. big surprise to everyone, <laughs> from Infinity Broadcasting, Grease Man, oh. Howard Stern. Who is making the announcement? Yeah, Those who are uh, these? Scott Shannon and Todd Pettengill. Oh, oh, his yeah. uh, sidekick. Yeah. And two idiots. <laughs> Two idiots who are wondering what happened to their ratings. Like, what the uh, hell are they talking about? They don't know. Yeah. That's, they're about as funny as on their radio show right uh, there. Uh, exactly. They were very lame. Scott Shannon was like the yeah. big deal in radio yeah. for a couple of years because everyone thought he knew something. Yeah. We, we, it just so happens that Top 40 had a rebirth. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody paid him way too much money. Well, thank you very much. Have a great evening. And keep... Uh, so everyone thinks yeah. it's over oh, yeah, with. Yeah, he's saying goodnight. I'm coming, I'm coming up to the stairs. All right, you're coming up the steps. So nobody, yeah. nobody accepted their award? No. Oh, except no. us, of course. <laughs> Idiots. Have a great evening, everybody. Thank you. Here it comes. Here it comes. Congratulations, Exit over there for a photo. Yeah, that's it. Photo. No, 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 no. Did they taking photos of you? I know. The, on the other side, that's where they take photos. So th that was that. Me. Once you accept the award, go, go oh, so, to so people were accepting the awards, just not yeah. making a speech. That's it. And How come radio guys insist on making everything boring? Like, why wouldn't they it have was speeches? It's so boring. I was falling asleep. It's and just so like I radio, though. <laughs> I was like a plus of fresh air. Radio's so boring, you want to fall asleep. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Pierre for Howard. Many people are stuffing in Russia. And all you do is do side bread. Yeah. Why don't you want people to crash on the airplane? <laughs> and all you think you can do is to drink and make merriment. I condemn you. How I condemn you. Good evening. This is our grace and bubble boy to all of you. <laughs> Could you play that again? Isn't that great? <laughs> I know everything you said. Yeah, Wait a minute. I want to figure it out on my own because you wrote it. Yeah. But I want to figure it out on my own. All right. I'll do it for you again. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take a break and then I'll... That uh, must be the most incoherent he has ever been. <laughs> That's almost good. Did they try to drag you off? Uh, no, I think Ed Lovett was trying to take away the mark from me, but... Yeah, oh, God forbid something should happen that people might find entertaining. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> something might wake them up from the Billboard Awards. All right, I'll play that for you again just so you can try to interpret it. Yes, everybody needs a, deserves a second shot. At All it. right. I, I, thought, I thought it was very clear. <laughs> yeah, sure, Elephant lost. Boy. Elephant Boy, when you hear that, do you understand it? Uh, yeah, this time I did. This time you did. All right. <laughs> All right, we will be back. Elephant Boy was telling me something about the Billboard Awards during the commercials, and I, you know me, I just nod. You, I have you no were, idea. You uh, humoring him again? Yeah. I don't know. What were you saying? That the radio stations, what? Well, yeah, most of the, m most of the radio stations in New York are fans of yours. You know, they right. listen to you in the morning and walk at the desk in the rest of the day. You got lots of fans w walking at other stations. Oh, I thought you were saying they were asking you something? Or? No, no, no. Oh, I don't know what you were talking about. Yeah. 
Well, anyway, uh, you really want to hear Elephant Boy's speech yes, again? I really was intrigued. All right, here it is, the Billboard Awards. Elephant Boy gets up and accepts my award for Syndicated Radio Personality of uh. the Year. Here it is. This next award, too. This is wonderful. This is a highlight of the evening. Well, I didn't want to hear this. <laughs> All right. I just want to hear Elephant Boy. You didn't think that was a great speech? <laughs> uh. Uh, the competition included... The winner... Over there for a we have a Howard, many people are stuffing it. There it is. Oh, thank you. On behalf of Howard, many people are starving in Russia. Oh, okay, I got that part. Say it. Many people are starving in Russia. On behalf of On Howard. On behalf of Howard, many people are starving in Russia. I right. Don't know what that means. Yeah, <laughs> well, wait. On behalf of Howard, he's accepting. Now he's saying many people are starving oh, in Russia. Oh, there's a break there. There's a break if he if he could talk like a normal person. <laughs> I didn't know there was a first. I thought there was one st sentence. No. <laughs> and all you do is do side bread. Wait a minute. All and all you do is to celebrate. That's yeah. right. That's right. Here they are. There are many people starving in Russia, and all you do is celebrate. It was a political speech. Okay. <laughs> what is it? I, uh, wasn't that supposed to be Rwanda? Mm -hmm. Yes. No, but it's a Russia on the paper. No, no it says Rwanda. Russia. No, no. Russia. <laughs> yeah. Unless somebody rewrote it, yeah. it was supposed to say Rwanda. Why are we talking about people, Chris? Wait a minute. I, I didn't get that. <laughs> uh, uh, you want to interpret? Go ahead. I saw one hundred thirty-one people crash. Oh, uh, what do you say? Because I one hundred thirty-one people crashed. Oh, one hundred thirty-one. I'm talking about the airplane crash. Okay. You know what? I don't even know what he said. <laughs> and I, and I, I, yeah. That was a little muddled. His speech is a train wreck, he not says, a plane crash. He says that was a little muddled. <laughs> a little muddled. A little muddled. What did you? What were the exact words you said? One hundred thirty-one people crashing on an airline. All right, one hundred thirty-one people crashing on an airline. <laughs> And all you think man. you can do is to drink and make merriment. <laughs> <laughs> and all you people do is drink and make merriment. <laughs> See, this was funny. Well, who knew? <laughs> it's a political speech. Oh, boy. I condemn you. How I condemn you. Good evening. This is our grace. I, I condemn you. I condemn you. Howard condemns you. I condemn you. you. We condemn you. Howard condemns you. And then what did you say? Uh, this is outrageous. This is outrageous, boy. That's a that's a tough one. Oh. That's a tough one for you while you're yelling. Yeah, Why do you always start yelling? To stress the point. Right. Yeah. <laughs> make the point. He wants to make a point. They must have been recoiling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> condemn you. How I condemn you. Good evening. This is outrageous and bubble boy. This is all crazy, is what that says. No, no, I thought like. he said good infinity. No. No. What did you say? I said, I said that's a. Good you mean, e no. That was outrageous. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Yeah, I just said that at the end. Good evening yeah. sounds like infinity. I don't listen. <laughs> Did you hear good evening in that? Wait, <laughs> okay, listen. It sounded like good infinity. <laughs> man, man, I condemn you. How I condemn you. Good evening. This is outrageous. Yeah. And bubble. Oh, this is outrageous. That I was see. not yeah. outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the word outrageous. I, you might have said yeah. that, but I don't know what you said. I don't know why I came out. <laughs> da 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 the Japanese laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until he accepts my Oscar after I get this movie done. Oh, Sashing Little Feather over there. Sashing Elephant Feather. They, they will appreciate her after that. Yeah. I condemn you. How I condemn you. Good evening. This is our grace. And bubble boy to all of you. <laughs> there you go. People in shock. Audience reeling. Easy. Well, at least I made it exciting by sending you. Believe it was so boring. People were going from one side to the other side. To see what and was I, going on. I know, and nothing was happening. People who <laughs> won a world was coming from one end at the other. Nothing happened. Nothing there. It's an amazing yeah. uh, radio awards. What does he it mean? Was boring. I don't he know, means what he means. He means people were milling around, not paying attention to yeah. the show until until he got up there. That's it. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I, trust me on this one. I think that's what he said. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Elephant Boy, I want to thank you for stopping oh, by today. Thank you, Howard. I, I have a great time. I'm glad you are uh, uh, starting to get sexual activity. You oh, now okay. have a regular girlfriend. Is that correct? Isn't yes, it a shame a... you couldn't bring your girlfriend to this wonderful event? Oh, yeah. Event? It was too short of a note. Elephant Boy met a girl in Cleveland who he is yeah. now with. This, yeah. this is not his girlfriend no. sitting here, but... Just a friend. Just a yeah. friend. Well, maybe someday it'll work into yeah. something great. Are you a little jealous now that Elephant Boy has a girlfriend? A little. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Just remember, you, you, you had your I moment. Chance, you, you had your opportunity, <laughs> but you didn't take it. So there I, you go. Yeah. You're not interested in him yeah, at all, no, are you? No. 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 Just yeah. friends. Yeah. Friends. Right. Yeah. You wouldn't about a million others. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Elephant Boy. I want to thank you so much for I, stopping by and accepting my syndicated radio personality I of the year. Would. Thank you, and like I said, uh, for the Oscar, I shall return. All right, Elephant Boy, everyone, big okay. round of applause. Oh, Fred the Elephant Boy was incredible, man. I don't know, I'd say the hell with Howard Stern. Don't run for governor. Fred the Elephant Boy for governor. Oh, there. <laughs> Upside down. Hey, don't get too close to me. You kiss my daughter, you're gonna marry her. All right, not this. Oh, I would like to put I have to be again a band. So that's the next guy, next year. I love you, Fred Ella. I love you, man. Fred, hey, you got this guy, he took the night off from 7 Eleven, he came here, put the tacos and the slurpees away, did this thing for you. Howard Grace. What an elephant boy. What did you think of Fred's speech? Um, it, it was, uh, it was good. Yeah, how come Dr. Fred and Dr. Fred took that from me? Well, you know, it's uh, competitive. Do you think, do you, yeah, I think they're also competitive because they know, you know, if there was on any other market, you also would be fucking number one anyway. Well, right. But, as a dog, Mr. Love, but uh, you have to sec for second best. Are you going to fill in for Howard next time he goes on vacation? Uh, I, don't, I, don't I, so. I don't think so, because then they want to get rid of Howard and put me on full time. So uh -huh. how is that? But you know what? Next year, we're going to win all the awards. So there we just thought, you know, we give it to you this year. OK. Because next year, we're going to OK, Lisa, I want to wish you a happy, happy, uh, a happy uh, young Kippur. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. What did you guys think of Fred's speech tonight? That's great. Are him a Fred invitation? I can't believe it. How was the... I got to talk to you all. Good day. I have to knock some sense into it. Bum, <laughs> bum, bum. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are Scott Shannon and Todd Pennington. Okay. <laughs> we don't understand anything you said up there. No, I think that's... Rambling on and on and on. That's the general idea. I thought you was Mildred Bray Sherry, Joe. I thought this was Letterman shtick you were doing up there. No, but like you said, how many people with Spitzer Pantomane are on radio? How you know, buddy? So how is the first one to first? Uh, I'd like to say speech you can't Yeah. <laughs> I still don't get it. What do you think of Fred the Elf Boy's speech? I thought it was great. great. What I understood of it. You want me to? Yeah, you want me to? Could you say it again? Because I really yeah, didn't understand okay, it at all. You I would love yeah. to hear it again. Ladies and gentlemen, people are stopping in Russia. And you are all sitting congressing to yourself. Well, how much do you want people to die in an airplane crash? And you can keep drinking and happy and watching time. How dare you? I condemn you. How I condemn you? This is a, a this is addresses. Thank you and a bubble boy to all of you. Guys, I'm Bubba Louis for everyone. <laughs> uh, I'm Bubba the Love Sponge. What do you do? I'm a disc jockey in uh, Tampa, Florida. Did What's you... up, Howard? I watch you all the time. You're a crazy you... bastard. You like Howard? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have an air chick I should give to him. He'd go crazy. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have a you can actually be Howard one day? Well, I'm a little heavy for Howard, and I'm not <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> F you. <laughs> What'd you think of Fred the Elephant Boy's speech? Um, speech pretty lame for Howard show, to be honest with you. I thought Howard would do much better. I kind of was looking for stuttering John, to be honest with you. He brings up. No, I, I bit the next stuttering John. You suck, to be honest with you. Don't get yeah, mad at me. Thank you. I'll knock thank your you. ass out. I ain't lying. Well, 
Just wait until we come to Tampa, we're going to kick your butt. When we come to Tampa, we will kick your butt. Homie, I'm, there. I'm at night, so. You know. I know. That, that's not the only thing you can say. When we come to Tampa, we're going to kick your butt. You got, I mean, this, who okay. cares? Who well, cares? Well, you're not doing the show Howard is. You're just a little do boy. <laughs> okay? You're just a little, you're not doing Howard's show. You're a little uh, do boy. Uh, uh, man. Yeah, Howard probably didn't even pay you for this. Uh, you're, such a, you're a groupie. You're a little Howard Stern groupie. If you're gay, you'd do him. Man, Papa, if you fuck... You can't even speak right. If you Don't make a fat joke. It's if, so obvious. Go ahead and make a fat joke. Okay. Hey, that's how stupid you are. You can't even think of me. Get off me. <laughs> Homie, give me an air check for Howard. I got my little homeboys running around here, too, but they can speak correctly. Puerto Rican, too. Give him a little Spanish. This guy gave me Jewish. Give me some Spanish. Come on, homeboy. Give me some Papa, Spanish. Yeah. Come on, Papa. Howard's a Jew boy. Howard's got his Jewish Jew boy. I got my brother Lost Bunch Jew boy. We'll kick your ass. How you lying? I'm me versus you. Come on. Give him some of that Spanish stuff. Come on. See? See? Where's your beanie cap? Where's your beanie cap at? Where's your beanie cap at? Get this to Howard. Howard, say it. Bubba Lost Bunch. And I hope you don't come to Tampa because you will kick ass. Best of luck to you, Howard. Get some better talent. Stutter and John's awesome. What's that one guy in the, for the dark hair? Uh, what's his name? Uh, the other producer, Robin's cool. Uh, okay. Top cool? of like, play, top of Howard, Howard, look at this tie. It's like the Brady Bunch. And it's Marsha Brady's Howard. curtains right there. It's Marsha look, Brady's curtains. Look at him. You shoot as niggas. Who would believe that? He look at, like a noob. <laughs> Hey, I want to make some, I want to make some. I'm not fair of here. Where's Howard? I'm out of here. Peace. Where's Howard? See you later, Howard. Uh